Hi, welcome to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith, and in this video, we're going to learn the two to five player game, Biotics, designed by Zach Huff and published by Smirk and Dagger Games. In the cutthroat world of scientific research, you'll be playing as rival laboratory personnel working to be the first to provide the supporting evidence to a groundbreaking new discovery in microbiology. Or maybe you're just trying to blow up your opponent's petri dish. <laughs> Either way, join me at the table and let's learn how to play. To set up, give each player a double-sided petri dish sheet using the side that matches the number of players as indicated here. In this video, we'll be setting up for a three-player game. These are the characteristic cards which are also double-sided, again based on the number of players, which you should put in a central area for easy reference by the players. Here we have the different groups of biotics. The game comes with stickers that you can attach to one of their sides to add a little more character to them, as I've done here. These black biotics you can set aside as they're used in an advanced variant that we'll look at later. In total, there are eight pieces of each biotic's color, but in a two-player game, you'll remove one of them from each group. Either way, you'll then put all of the biotics into the included specimen bag. You'll want to keep the game box and cover nearby as they'll also be used when you're playing. Now have each player say a word or two out loud and whoever sounds the most scientific becomes the first player. They'll put this timer token on the three spot of their Petri dish or on the two spot in a five player game. Now give the first player this specimen bag. During the game, the person holding this bag is also known as the active player. And that's the setup. In biotics, you'll be drawing microbes from the bag, adding them to yours or to an opponent's Petri dish. Get the exact right number of microbes and you can score big points. Get too many and you might start to have unstable or even explosive reactions in your Petri dish which is never a good idea. The game is played over three days. Not literally three days. <laughs> game days, which, well, you'll see what I mean in just a moment. A game day is then broken into turns, starting with the first player and then going clockwise around and around the table. And on your turn, you'll perform three steps, starting with procurement. This is an easy step. Just draw two biotics at random from the bag. Now it's the placement and bioreactions check step. One at a time, you'll place the biotics that you drew. And each time that you place one, it may either go into your own Petri dish or into any opponents. However, each time a biotics is placed, you must stop and resolve any reactions that might occur before moving on. Each type of biotics has a trigger limit as shown on the reference sheet. If a player gains a number of biotics greater than the limit of its type, a reaction occurs as listed here. Let's say it's later in the game and I drew these two biotics and instead of placing this one in my dish, I chose to put it in my opponent's. Remember, each time a biotics is placed, you check for and resolve any reactions that would occur. The reaction for blue migratory biotics is that the affected player must now give one blue biotics in their dish to each player and then they trash the remainder. When biotics are trashed, you take them from your Petri dish and place them hidden into your containment box. This is the bottom of the game box itself, and you can just offset the cover like this on top of it, which will give you easy access when you need to trash more biotics later. For now though, let's take these back and reset our example as I want to show you a chain reaction. You'll first notice I have the black biotics in play when I clearly remove them during the setup. I'm just bringing them back quickly here for this example, and although we'll learn how these work in full later, it's enough to know that these can act like any of the other types of biotics. So here, both of these are acting as the blue migratory ones. Otherwise, picking up as we had it before, when I gave this blue biotics to my opponent, it caused a bioreaction, and we need to fully resolve it. So they would give one blue biotics to each of us, and then trash the rest. In this example though, both of these players are at their limit for blue as well. So this bioreaction caused one or more other bioreactions, and this is called a chain reaction. We'll now resolve these effects as well, but in a case like this where two people both have a reaction, you resolve them in turn order from the active player's left. So this player would resolve their reaction next, giving me another biotics, as well as one to this player, trashing of course the rest of theirs, 
And then I would resolve my reaction like this, trashing these, and then I still have abiotics left over, so I would place and resolve it. So now let's go over all the other possible reaction effects. If these red, attractive biotics are triggered, then you trash all the ones that you have and then take any two biotics from any combination of the other players. So the player here could take two from this person or one from here and then one from this player. They can even choose to take red biotics to make up for the ones that they just lost. It should be noted that a player can choose to trigger reactions on their own petri dish. If the green repulsive biotics are triggered, you trash all of those ones that you have along with any one of your other biotics, if you have any. If the purple magnetic biotics are triggered, then all of the players must trash any purple pieces that they have in their petri dishes. And finally, if the yellow explosive biotics are triggered, you will first trash all the yellow pieces that you have and then give three other biotics to other players distributed as you like. Keep in mind you only have to give away as many biotics as you actually have. If you have less than are necessary to fulfill a requirement, then you just give up as many as you can. So on a turn you draw two specimens from the bag and assign them one at a time, checking for reactions and resolving them. Once all the reactions have been resolved, the active player then passes the specimen bag to the player on their left, and then that person takes their turn. However, each time this bag is passed to the player with the timer token on their Petri Dish card, they will then immediately perform a step called Timer Token Advance, where they will move the token down one space on this track. If this would cause the token to be pushed off of the number one spot, then place this token directly into the specimen bag, mix it around, and then have the player draw their two biotics for that turn. Players will continue to take turns as normal until a player draws the timer token from the bag as part of their two biotics. They then put the timer token onto their highest valued spot, trash their other token, and then it immediately becomes the end of the day. Players will now total the intrinsic value of the biotics they have on their own petri dish as shown here. For example, each of these blue migratory biotics are worth two points. This red attractive one is worth 3, and the green here is worth 5, for a total of 12 points. You'll record this information in some way, perhaps with paper and pencil or on a smartphone, and then have each player pick any two biotics to trash from their dish. Now take all of the trashed biotics from the box and dump them back into the bag, giving that bag to the player with the timer token, who will now take the first turn of the second day. You then play as previously described. However, if at the end of the second day a player is 20 or more points behind the leader, they can conduct some special side research in an effort to catch up. They'll secretly write down a color of biotics and a number from 1 to 3. If at the end of the third day they have that exact number of that biotics in their petri dish, they'll gain 30 points, or 25 points in a 5 player game. At the end of the third day, players tally their three-day score and the one with the most points wins. If there's a tie between players, the tied players leave their petri dishes as is and put all trashed biotics back in the bag. They then play three turns each to see who has the best final biotics total in their dish. If there's still a tie, then the tied players share the victory. And that's how you play the normal version of biotics. But you may also add these to the specimen bag during the setup, removing one if it's a two-player game. When these are placed in a petri dish, they go directly to the black space in the upper left-hand corner of that player's sheet, where that player will immediately invade their dish with it. If two of these are given to a player at once, you'll stack them both here, resolving them one at a time. When resolving these, you pick any one non-aggressive black biotic already on your sheet and trash it, putting the aggressive one there in its place. If you have no non-black biotics to replace, then you must put these into any empty space of your petri dish. When scoring at the end of the day, these biotics are worth minus two points each. Otherwise, they're treated exactly like the specimen of the space that they're in. So if I gained another red specimen, it would trigger the effect here as normal, which means all of these would get trashed, and I would gain any two biotics taken from other players at the table. If one of these biotics would get passed from one petri dish to another, it loses whatever properties it had, 
and the new player who gains it gets to choose where to put it in their Petri dish as normal. However, be careful not to allow a player to have only black biotics in their Petri dish. If this happens, they instead score five points for each of them. And that's everything you need to know to play biotics. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to put them in the comments below, and I'll gladly answer them as soon as I get a chance. But until the next episode, thanks for watching.